We turn our attention now to Super Bowl 51. It's going down February 5th in H-Town. And today, Dan Quinn was asked to compare the 2015 offense of the Falcons to the 2016 offense. Number one, uh, you know, we're way better with the football. Uh, so it's harder to get off, you know, our offense in terms of the way we take care of it. Um, we certainly feature uh, more players uh, than we ever have. So I think that part is a real factor as well, knowing if you're going to try and lean, you know, certain things to one player or, or try to take someone else out. Uh, the term we use is, you know, who could set it off? Would it be a running back, a tight end group, wide receivers, the quarterback? So um, there's a number of different groups uh, that, if counted on, um, if, you know, the coverage dictates or pressure dictates where it should go, uh, they're ready to answer the challenge. Dylan, the Falcons have the number one scoring offense. The Patriots have the number one scoring defense. Who do you trust more in the Super Bowl? I, I think in general, I'd rather have the better defense. You know, it's an adage for a reason that defense wins championships. For sure. Uh, that, that if you have two great, great on great, that the defense, you'd rather have the defense. Um, that being said, that this Atlanta offense is somehow they're still underrated. I would say so. We've gotten yeah. to this point, and they're still underrated. And a lot of it are the factors that Dan Quinn talks about there. The fact that you could take away Julio, and they'll beat you with, you know, Coleman and Freeman. Matt Ryan protects the ball better than he ever has ever in his life uh, and his professional career to this point. Sanu has been a great Robin to, to Jones's Batman. Um, uh, their line has played better across the board. But in the end, I, I, I'm going to trust the Patriots' defense because it's Bill Belichick, and he's a great defensive coach, because Matt Patricia is a really, really sound coordinator and maybe uh, one of the best coordinators in all of football, knowing his personnel. There's not a lot of teams that could get rid of a guy like Jamie Collins and all of a sudden not seem to miss a beat. They've been there before. Their coaches have been there before. They've done it. They've gotten to this point. And at the top of the mountain, they've planted their flag. Something that Atlanta hasn't done. So it's hard for me to wrap my mind around that as much. Even though I'm not going to be surprised if Atlanta's offense plays very well. Right. I've just seen it before from, from New England. I know that's probably what I'm going to get. And the numbers speak for themselves on that side of the ball. Their defense is great at not allowing you to score points. When you're in the red zone, holding you to three, not seven. That's really the intriguing part of this Super Bowl. So Atlanta is so good at, at converting in the red zone. They're so good at putting points on the board in general that something's going to give. And, and whoever can make that something give a little yep. more yep. is going to win Super Bowl 51, CT. And Matt Ryan has been so good at protecting the football. Seven touchdowns, no interceptions in the playoffs. If he can do that, he'll certainly give his Falcon squad a great chance to win the Super Bowl.